I'm a little quick. We got Black Knight. Hello. We got Hefe. What's going on? And Zod. What's up, y'all? Uh, Microsoft games were noticeably absent from Boosteroid before, even with the install and play feature. So, uh, what's going on? What's this mean? Well, they, I mean, they had Microsoft games, was it uh, 2021? We even covered uh, Halo uh, on the platform when they did. I'm not sure what happened when they re removed them. I'm thinking Microsoft went to Boost Road and said, you got to get uh, your stuff off our off your platform, and, and they did. They must have threatened them really, uh, really hard uh, for them to remove it. And now uh, that's not a big deal. We They got the partnership. Um, Boost Roy is becoming more and more legit. Makes you wonder what well, Microsoft sent on maybe some legit cease and desists instead of just a uh -huh. stern letter. <laughs> a stern letter, <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, they've got the assets to send more than just a letter. <laughs> Obviously, this comes in the wake of GeForce Now's big moves. Was this Microsoft or Boosteroid reaching out? Who's making the first move here? Yeah, I think it's Boosteroid uh, because it came after... Remember that NVIDIA's deal came really quick. It came so quick that when they announced it, it wasn't even a week old. And so I think this caught everybody, including Boosteroid, because I don't think Microsoft is making moves to, to go everywhere and to see everyone. I think they're coming to them. Obviously, it's not as spicy as the idea of Boosteroid partnering up with, uh, with Sony, but still a good move, still a big move. I wanted to see uh, Booster Ray kind of like go for Sony and try to get them on. It'd be like a really good rivalry between uh, GeForce Now and um, Booster Ray. It's always more fun when people are trying to outdo each other, but I'm happy with everybody being able to play everywhere. So Microsoft getting oh, yeah, on all absolutely. these services, I'm fine with that. Absolutely. You think uh, Microsoft had to get a little get a little paycheck for this, or do you think they're just they're just playing friendly with everyone until this Activision a acquisition goes through? I think they're playing friendly. I think everybody's playing friendly. I think Microsoft needs as many allies on their side right now as possible. I agree. I also think Microsoft Store needs some, some serious help. So putting the Microsoft Store in front of, you know, three to four million Boostroid users isn't a bad idea, no matter how you look at that. But it's also going to make everybody who's a cloud gamer more on board for Microsoft getting this Activision acquisition because Activision doesn't want to be on the cloud. So... All of a sudden, everybody who wants to play those games on the cloud is now, oh yeah, we definitely want Microsoft to get control of it. This is also throwing a wrench into NVIDIA's uh, announcement because we kind of were under the impression that they were going to be the sole provider for these Microsoft games, uh, and now they're not. Yeah, I had a theory that um, you know NVIDIA would be the PC provider for the uh, Microsoft PC games. That's not the, the, the thing anymore. I can't, I can't say that. Boosteroid's going to be having part of that. So I was also thinking that, you know, on Microsoft's site for Game Pass, you know, you for uh, Ultimate, you have the uh, the option for uh, Xbox Cloud Gaming with the P the Game Pass the PC Game Pass. Mm -hmm. I was seeing that Nvidia having have a uh, a one month access to GeForce Now, but that throws a this throws a wrench in that completely. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, funny thing about Game Pass, this is just a personal anecdote, right? You go to GameStop, and there's always advertisements for Game Pass on there. And this always makes me laugh, because they're always showing uh, Total War Warhammer. GameStop has nothing to do with PC gaming at this point. So it always amuses me that they're always advertising this game on their video that you can't play on a console. Because you're not buying a PC from GameStop, right? Right, mm-hmm. Now... Does this eventually lead to Boosteroid or NVIDIA's GeForce Now getting on the Xbox as an app, similar to Discord, being able to play these PC games from Game Pass without a PC? If Microsoft wants to keep, continue to go down the road of being super fr consumer friendly, yeah. Yeah. That's the best. Now, that's the biggest move for both NVIDIA and Boosteroid. If these apps are going on... Microsoft consoles, it's huge. It adds a ton of value to the Microsoft console. It adds a ton of value to Boosteroid and GeForce Now. It's win-win all around because now mm -hmm. console gamers can play PC games. Just right. straight yep. up. Yep. Right. That's huge. And that you could easily huge. you could easily transition between both uh, platforms. Yes, without leaving a without leaving the platform. 
Yeah, so everything would be streamlined. That isn't what's been announced, but to me, that's the biggest move that could happen with all this because you can install these apps on a television. I guarantee you can put this baby on an Xbox. So yeah. do they allow it? Is there ever going to be an issue with that? That's that's going to be interesting. And if they do, do other... The, does the Sony get salty? Like, I mean, you know, you could play God of War on uh, GeForce Now if you played it before. It's it's in your account. You you have access to it. You can play God of War on your Xbox, which is hilarious if this happens. Yeah. Now I can. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now I've heard that um, we haven't tested it out yet. I, I have a. I, I'm planning on making a video on testing out uh, GeForce Now on Xbox. I heard that works through their browser. Um, if, if so, I mean, I don't see why they just want to go further with it. Yeah, just make it easier. If it does, that's huge. I didn't even know that was a possibility. I didn't know the controller had uh, support through that. Maybe I'll try on my PS5, but I don't have a lot of... Uh, I heard the PS5 does not. Yeah, does I don't, not I don't have a lot of hope for that one. No. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the PS5 wouldn't have the, the driver forwarding support. So it's a different in infrastructure completely than... than well, I mean, PS5 PlayStation you, didn't want to do cross-play, <laughs> so... Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I don't see them doing anything else consumer-friendly. Well, they're going to have to change their tune uh, if they get kind of slammed. Remember, Microsoft had a, a rocky start during the, the PS4 generation because of their desire to turn their console into something that, that kind of controlled your media. Remember the whole debacle about, you know, you can't loan your games to your friends anymore. It's tied to your account. Discs mean nothing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That bit them in the ass. Mm-hmm. I mean, if Sony doesn't get on board, they could be on the receiving end of the same kind of bad press and really lose an edge uh, in the upcoming console wars. I guess, what games are we excited to see on Boosteroid that we haven't seen uh, for a while? I mean, you mentioned Halo. Obviously, they'll be back. Is there anything else that like is really screaming, we want to see this game? Well, I was also thinking about Roblox, too. I've, I've already got questions on that. Mm -hmm. Since that's in the Microsoft Store, um, Roblox Roblox is getting massive. Well, Roblox has been massive for a very long time. I mean, even more so because now corporations are getting in on it. I'm hearing commercials on the radio about joining Roblox to see <laughs> such and, such and such. So that's freaking uh, weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's it's super weird. It's like, hey, you want to? Corporations are saying, hey. Join us in Roblox to see our whatever we made. And they're advertising it on the radio. It's so weird. And when you play Roblox, it looks like you're playing like like an Atari Jaguar. Like, it does not look good. <laughs> it's, it's love it, man. Like, they love like it. Hardcore N64 at best graphics. Dude, at best. Oh, man. I guess it, I guess it depends on the game, though. But again, Roblox isn't owned by Microsoft, so I don't. But it's on the Microsoft Store, and that's generally the only way you can get through get it. Okay. Unless you're on unless you're on like Android or whatever. But if you're on PC, that's the only way you can get it. Another one I probably say be Forza. <laughs> Especially when the Activision Blizzard deal goes through, uh, is that all the games that are in the the install section are just going to be legit now? Go right to the library. <laughs> Yeah. What else do they have? They have like Gears of War. Gears of War. I yeah. can't remember if that's a, a PC version or is it just the Xbox version. Gears of War Four had a PC version. Uh, I'm pretty sure Gears of War was on PC. So that's a Microsoft Studios game, so you get that. I'm just curious if there's anything like super exciting for everybody. Like Halo is obviously the big name, but the Elder Scrolls the... Online, baby. Yeah, that's a that's a that's another one. Yeah, that's another one. I guess one of the big ones is going to be Starfield for me. That's going to be on all three platforms. That's going to be on uh, NVIDIA. That's going to be on Boosteroid. That's going to be on Xbox Cloud. That's another problem then with doing that. So let's say Microsoft does allow GeForce Now on the Xbox. That could hurt them if people buy their PC version instead of the Microsoft version of a game and play it there yeah. instead of getting their yep. X. So that's, that's a reason to gate it. I would hate that. That is, a, that is a reason to gate it. Yes, you're right. <sighs> I would hate that, but that is a very good reason to gate it, to keep people from 
getting access to that cloud. You know, thinking about that, uh, I don't know if they're going to do it. If there's one reason to gate, they'll 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 do it. If Boosterory can make uh, a platform where their GPUs are better than NVIDIA's and it's cheaper, do you think we could see a big transition of people moving from GeForce Now to Boosteroid? I mean, people ha- are already doing that. So this uh, especially with the, the game. Yeah, the, the game library, uh, especially before the announcement. Yes, the uh, Hogwarts uh, thing was huge. Hogwarts Legacy, man. It's a game they changer. Brought, that, that brought down servers. It pissed off the, the Boosteroid faithful, man. I don't know if you check out their Reddit, man. Yes. There is some... A lot of, lot of spicy anger. People were mad. And yeah, as we were playing COD the other day, you saw my... Um, I told you my, my bit rate was going down to 6 megabits per second. 4 Ooh. megabits per second. Mm. Making you miss that 14. Yeah, making you miss that 14, exactly. I'll take that 14. <laughs> yes. So their their pipes are, are getting squeezed. It happens. There's more uh, people, though, that could lead to more expansion. So They're going to have to. Yeah. Yes, and it is. They've said that. Uh, Boostroid's openly uh, been saying we're getting servers as fast as we can, we're expanding fast as they can, and with the influx of customers, they'll have the money for it. But, right. you know, it's a chicken and egg situation. That, that was what was choking out Shrine when they were expanding so fast. I like talking about that Shrine. They're trying to They're trying to upgrade, have the official upgrade when they, they put in 4K servers. They're trying to get it right, too, because they know that... They've been saying, wait, wait for this, wait for this, wait for this, so that when it hits, and if people are still mad when it, when that drops, then they're going to have a, a, a big headache, and they, they want it yep. to be good. I think everyone would wait to have it a good release than to have it release and it just be garbage, and then everyone's going to have that bad taste in their mouth because that stuff stays. Yeah, because they didn't deliver. And it's going to be different because... Remember when they when they were making the American servers live, they kind of stealth dropped it. Like they were slowly coming online, and you were on an American server, but they didn't announce it that it was up yet. Yes. And yep. I don't know if they'll do the same thing with the 4K stuff. That was over a year ago. You believe that? It was mm-hmm. over a year ago. Hey, they're making moves. Let's talk about um, AMD's hardware then, because if they are working with AMD, I know uh, you know me. I, I I work with Linux systems from time to time, and the, oh, the issue with AMD is always the drivers. Not the power. So if uh, Boostroid has excellent drivers, I, I can definitely see them possibly even exceeding the 4080 if they have the right hardware. I'm not. I don't think that's a pipe dream. Yeah. So um, my bet, if if that's the true case, if you go to Boostroid's um, website, their partners are at the bottom. I, I know they have Intel right now, but. Um, uh, how they set up their servers is with Asus, mm-hmm. and they could, you know, they could go either with AMD. I have a feeling it's an AMD AMD processors that they like the Epic processors. Mm-hmm. That's what everyone's been going with the Epic those huge processors that that support like a crap ton of users with decent speed. The AMD Epic. Uh, I have a feeling they'd go with with, with those. And then uh, why not go with the cards? They might have something up their sleeve. So, I mean, they, they are official partners. Yeah. NVIDIA's not on this list. Yeah. Well, that's another thing I was thinking about. Um, GeForce Now is a very convenient way to advertise their hardware. It's so true. AMD doesn't have a cloud service to advertise their hardware. So that is another, like, potentially amazing marketing move from the AMD to get let people try their cards and see what they can really do. So it's a it's something I hadn't really considered before, but yeah, that's that's smart if if that ever goes in that direction. Like what I find I, what I find interesting is the NVIDIA is using AMD processors or, oh. or their, yeah, the the thirty eighty <laughs> and uh I'm guessing forty eighty stuffs. Uh they would just upgrade to their the Threadripper, which is AMD. Yeah, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing that. I mean, no, there's nothing wrong with doing that. But I just, it's it's funny, you know. You go to a competitor for something else out of your control. Hey man, if I if I work at McDonald's, I can still go get a burger from Burger King. Sometimes it's cool. Nope, Nvidia's not standing for this. <laughs> but, They're making their own processor. You don't, <laughs> you don't run out of fries and go grab some Burger King fries and sell them with your Big Mac. <laughs> it's not equivalent, but it is funny to think about. 
like, uh. yeah. <laughs> um, do you expect Microsoft to eventually open up cloud services that play PC games, thus adding value to their Game Pass on the Xbox? Or do you think, nope, they don't want a chance losing a single Xbox game sale, and they don't think that value is worth it? I don't think it's going to be now. I think it's going to be the next box. <laughs> Get it? Next box? Uh, no. Probably. Yeah, I don't see why not. It, like uh, what the Ray was saying, just not immediately. Mm-hmm. I uh, I'm, I hope you guys are right. I, I feel like if they see any reason that that cuts into any of their sales, that they would they would actually say no. Because let's say uh, you, you, you buy Call of Duty, and now you can play it on your Xbox right off your Steam account. <laughs> You ain't buying it on Xbox now, are you? I don't know. I, I, I don't hate know. that, but I, I just see that as a as too big of a hurdle for them to justify it. And I, I want to be wrong, but I, I don't think they're going to add it. I mean, the only way that I think about it is just an Xbox is just like, you can just call it like a, a, a more budget computer, in my opinion. You can, there's the audience if they added PC games, there's more PC games that are just Xbox games. So, I mean, and more more people, because I don't want to say like normal people, but normal people that don't have, let's say, like computer skills, like building your own computer or have knowledge, like a parent that just knows their kid wants to play games. Yeah, just throw it on. Yeah, just throw it, just get, just get the Xbox. Yep. I mean, I, I I do understand the concerns, but I, I think the positives outweigh the negatives. But, I mean, I'm not into <laughs> I don't work for Microsoft. I see PC games becoming more of a thing with cloud because now it's accessible through these through these platforms. Like I, I can see if, let, let's say, let's go back to our other cloud um, chat with Rockstar being a thing. If Rockstar was a thing and they opened their like floodgates to cloud, uh, how many people would buy uh, GTA 5 for cheap through through PC for through the Rockstar launcher? A lot. And then just and then just play it on GeForce Now or Boosteroid or something else. Now, you know? Yeah, I think there's always going to be loopholes. They just got to like that's I think that's kind of the question is like how do you resolve that? And I think that's what's going to scare them away. There's no world where I think Microsoft or Sony wants to allow Valve's Steam Store to be able to be played on their systems. Oh. I think that's scared. That's scary for them. That's scary for them. Uh huh. So I, I, that's why I think it's a no. I don't think they're gonna do it. I want it. I want it bad, but. Oof. No, I, I, I get that. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, we'll see how it happens. That's Cloud Chat. I'm a little quick with uh, Black Knight. See you guys. F.A. Zero. And Zod. See you next time. Signing out.